Welcome to this uh, second review of Cody 16, which is currently in development. Uh, this time not really much to actually show you in Cody itself, because most of the changes are done in the background and the background code. Um, I could mention some of the things. So we bumped the Lib Blu-ray version. Uh, Lib Blu-ray is a a library we use for Blu-ray playback, so uh, the last version we used was quite old on Windows, which was 0.6 and on the other platforms even 0.4 or 0.2, I can't recall actually. So we, now we bumped at, uh, or we upgraded it on all platforms, so that should give you some better uh, Blu-ray playback. Blu Blu-ray uh, playback. Uh, remember, not all Blu-rays are supported because of the encryption, which we we cannot do uh, the the decryption of the file. So you have to use an actual Blu-ray player or on Windows uh, use some other third-party program to play these. You can still launch them from within Kodi, but you still have to use a different program because it's protected so nothing much we can do about it. so hope you understand uh, next up is RD RDS radio RDS stands for radio data system which is data that is embedded in the, the radio uh, frequencies so when the radio stations send out information along the the current transmission they're doing um, if you if you were in a car, you remember that you see some text on the display about what's currently playing, and that's actually RDS. So we now added that as well to Kodi. It's not something I can show you because uh, the backend I use doesn't really support it yet, or the the add-on. But what it should give you is uh, some current playing uh, information. So let me see if I maybe it can be shown let me play you some radio here oh. apparently I can't not play anything at the moment so well if it supports it so you should be able to view some of the information that's currently transmitted by the, the, ch the channel or radio station you listen to. Uh, another thing is uh, long press support. So this is a long awaited feature for especially uh, Android and uh, iOS. I think the main part is uh, Android because uh, most remotes uh, that are shipped with the boxes only have limited amount of buttons. So you couldn't uh, get to the context menu. So the context menu is a C on your normal keyboard, which uh, shows this uh, menu. So now long press is added. So if you have only one uh, button, usually it's a big round one, you can now short press it or long press it. And it now has different actions. Again, I'm on my Windows computer, so can't show you that. Um, another thing we did is uh, bump FFmpeg. FFmpeg is the library we use for playback of a lot of things. It's a uh, it's our main library for video playback, audio playback, which supports all the codecs, so that you don't have to install any additional codecs alongside Kodi. It just works. Um, the we now have added 2.8, which should have the H265, the HEVC code codec playback. So that's a really nice feature. Another thing I can show you in settings is stereoscopic. So the 3D effect for the user interface. So if you go to settings, appearance, skin, you now here have this stereoscopic 3D effect strength. So you can actually 
choose which strength you want on your interface, uh, so more or less depth. So uh, as I don't have a 3D installed, so I'm not able to show you. What I can show you is a series recording for a TV show. So this requires a new uh, uh, front-end add-on for the PVR. And the back-end should also support it. So it's, it's both ways. And you need a new version of Kodi and some other things I can't recall at the moment. So let's go to TV, Guide. Here you see some of the channels I have. It's not much, but it works for now. Um, so let me show you some recurring. Oh, this is recurring uh, show. So if I now hit the context menu, I have, we previously had record. So now we also have add custom timer. Uh, custom timer actually has the option to record repeating guide base. So you need an EPG guide. So the, the program guide for several days in advance. And then you can choose one time or, or repeating. So you can also uh, hit trigger a one time based on the guide. So if the program shifts a bit and the guide updates, you the recording will start later or earlier. And here we have the repeating guide base. So if you choose this one, you should always be in time for the recording. So it will happen automatically. And here we have the all, any of the other options that were already available. So this is the new option for series recording. So add custom timer. Okay, that's it. And now we go to another thing. In the past, we couldn't uh, decode uh, DTS HD. So the high, audio, how de high definition of the DTS. So now we added a library which is able to do that for us. So if your receiver does not support DTS HD pass-through, you can now uh, decode it to a PCM stream, which is able to play back by almost any device. So this option is in system, audio output, and here we have support 8 channel DTS HD audio decoding. This is only available if you don't have or already enabled a DTS HD, which is not available on this computer. So it, if you are going to play back DTS HD stream, it will decode it to a PCM stream instead of just taking a DTS part of the entire DTS HD. And the final thing we added is a clean library. It doesn't remove empty shows anymore. So what I mean here is, let me put pick this show, the 100. There's no episodes in it. So what used to happen is if you did clean library, it would delete the item from, from Kodi. And now it just keeps it there. So if you really want to go gone from the library, you have to delete the actual show folder from your hard drive, and then it will do, remove it. So a lot of people ask for this because it's annoying if you did clean library, it would remove it again, and then if you updated library, it would add it again. So it's just annoying. So I guess that's it for now, so hope you enjoyed it and till next time, goodbye.